Hello guys, this is my 56th video in React series and in this tutorial we are going to learn about React Router DOM. We are going to see the basic setup, we are going to install the package and also we are going to see why we have to use React Router DOM. Okay, now this is the official website of React and here I am having this entire content. Okay, here we have this documents and we are just going to see why we are using this React and it is very useful in making single page applications. Now here you can see I am having this header. Now inside this header, I am having this documents, I am having this tutorial section, blog section and finally community section. Now here if I just click on this, if I just click on this documents, you can see here near fav icon it is not getting loaded. Again if I click on tutorial, okay it is not getting loaded and tutorial section I got here. Again if I click on blog, near fav icon section it is not getting loaded at all. Now again if I click on community, this nav bar. Okay, this entire navbar stays here, this sidebar stays here, only whatever content related to that particular component will be changed, only that particular section will be changed and rest it is not going to change. Okay, this is how it is very very useful to make single page applications, you can see our website is not getting loaded at all. But now if I just select some random website and here I will just open this one. Now you can see near fab icon the, en the entire website is getting loaded and I will just show you the demo of that. I'll just click on entertainment you can see the near fab icon you can see the entire website is getting loaded now this loading whatever we are getting here it is called a server side routing because it is loading the entire website and entire content is loaded and it is being displayed to me so this is how it is going to reduce the speed of this one if it gets loading 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 and if it takes time to load it is going to reduce the speed of this website so here we have this you can see the website is not getting loaded at all and we are getting the content only what we need Okay, it's too quick compared to this one. It is very quick. So this is how react router is helpful. Now we are just going to see how to install that one. And in our previous video, we have made the simple project. We have fetched the data from the API. If I just click on four, the content related to four will be displayed here. Okay, you can see the content related to four is been displayed. Now we are just going to install that package. I'll just come here. I'll just click on this. And from here we have this npm i react router dom. I will just copy this one and inside this terminal I am just going to paste that one. I will just open new terminal and here before that if I just show you package.json file. I will just come to package.json file. Now inside package.json file you can see here we don't have that react router dom package. Now we are just going to install that one here. Now I am just going to install this package. It is going to take some time. Once the package has been installed, that package will be stored here. Okay, that package will come here and we are just going to see that one. Okay, it is getting installed. Now before that, I will just come here. I will just show you. I will just remove this. I will just write here react router DOM. And click on this first link. And here you will be having the entire guide of this one. Okay, you can just refer this document. And here you can see they have given first we are just creating the react app and inside this they are just installing this react router dom okay now below this they have given the simple example we are just going to make one simple example okay we are not going to do this one once you get to know what is react router dom then you will understand this example okay the same way we are just going to write one simple example and we are going to understand how to use react router dom in our websites okay you can just refer this entire document and this example then you will have better understanding of this one but we are going to make more projects using this react router dom and also you can see we have to import this browser router as router we have to import switch we have to import root and we have to import this link okay we are going to see one by one what is all this one switch root and link we are going to see okay once my package is installed i'll just explain you the entire thing guys now you can see my package has been installed and inside this package.json file this react router dom and we are having this 5.3.0 version Okay, now we are going to write simple example and we are going to understand this react router dom. Okay, so let's get started with the example. Now inside index.js file, I have this one. I have imported react, react dom. I have imported this app and here I have rendered this app component. And inside app.js, I don't have anything. So first I'm just going to write this one basic snippet. I'll just write this and here I'll just write one h1. I'll just write here app component. I'll save this. I'll just refresh this one. Now you can see I'm having this output. It is working completely fine. Now whichever component you want to wrap inside the router, you just have to wrap that one. 
so to wrap that first we are just importing that one i'll just import that one i'll just write here browser router import browser router from react router dom okay here you will be having the suggestion just click on this i'll just copy this browser router and here i just have to wrap this app component inside this browser router i'm just going to paste that one and you can see it is been closed like this okay our app component is closed like this and here we are having this closing tag okay you just have to wrap that one now i'll just come here now again i'm going to get the output okay this is how we are going to wrap our entire component inside router okay suppose if you want to wrap another component you can also wrap that using this browser router if you don't want such lengthy word so you can just write like this browser router as router okay now in place of browser router you just have to paste this one i'll just copy this i'll paste that one and here also i'll place that one okay instead of browser router we are just considering browser router as router and we are just passing the router here i'll just i'll just save this one now here if you if i show you the output you can see again it is working okay we don't have any error in this now once we are done with this now we have rendered our app component inside this router so i'll just come to app.js now inside this app.js we are just going to write the code now here i'll just create one unordered list and inside this i'm just going to create li and also i'm just going to create anchor tag here inside this i'll just want to create anchor tag anchor tag i'll just write here href and inside this anchor tag i'll just write here home again i'll just copy the same thing and here i'll just write here about i'll save this i'll come here now you can see i'm having this home and here i'm having this about okay i'm just going to apply some basic styling so i'll just import i'll just import app.css i'll come to app.css and here i'll just write okay i'm just going to do little faster because i don't want to waste your time display flex because all will come in horizontal row list style to be none and also padding i'm just going to give here 1m i'll just style li and for li i'll just give margin margin of 0 0 1m 0 on top and bottom left and right 1m i'll save this now you can see i'm having this output you can see i have increased the font size now my font size has been increased i am in home page and i am in about page okay now when i click on this i don't want this anchor tag should be visible because we are using anchor tag anchor tag will lead to page reload so for that instead of using this anchor tag we are just going to use link now here i'm just going to write this link and inside this link i'm just going to write li i'll just copy this entire thing and here i'm going to paste that one i'll just close this link i'll remove this both the things i'll remove this one now again i'll just copy this one and here instead of this instead of this anchor tag i'll just remove this anchor tag from both the sides instead of using anchor tag we are using this link and here i'll just write here home and here i'm going to write about i'll save this i'll just ref okay now i'm having here link is not defined once we use this link this we are getting from the react router dom so we have to import that one i'll just write here link and also we are going to use switch i'll just import switch and also we are going to use this root i'm just importing all these three things from react router dom i'll save this you just have to write like this inside unordered list i'm just passing this list items and i am just wrapping that inside this link okay i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see i'm having this output if we use link and if we navigate from one page to another that will not load our website so we have to use link and inside this link we just have to give here two two for home page i should be redirected to home page so i'm just giving forward slash and for about page i should be redirected to about page okay once i give this one now below this i'm just going to wrap that entire thing inside switch i'll just write here switch now inside this switch i'm just going to give the root i'll just give here root and for this root we have the property path path i'm just giving here slash for home okay again in the same way i'm just giving about okay i'm just giving the path here because whenever i click on home i should be redirected to home whenever i click on about i should be redirected to about okay i'm just giving the path for that i'll save this i'll come here i'll refresh this one now when i click on home i am redirected to home 
when I click on about, you can see inside my URL, I'm, I'm redirected to slash about page. But we can't see any change. We can't see any change in the website. So we are just going to do that one now. Now this switch, what it is going to do is it is going to match only the first thing. Okay, we are just going to fix that one. Before that, I'm just going to create home and about component. Inside SRC folder, I'll just write here components. I'll just write my components folder. Inside this components, I'm just going to create here home.js. And again, inside this components, I'm just going to create here about about.js. Now inside home.js, I'm just going to write this one. And here I'll just write h1 and here I'll just write here home page. I'll save this. I'll just come to about and here also I'm just going to write this basic snippet. And here I'll just write h1. I'll just write here about page. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see I'm not having any output. I created this home component about component, but home page and about page is not displayed here. So for that, now inside this app.js, we have given this root. Now we have to give where we have to give this. Okay, once we give this path, in which component it should redirect. So we have this component property and inside this, I'm just going to give your home component. Again, I'm just going to copy this one. Here I'll be pasting that one and instead of home, I'm just going to give here about. Okay, whenever I click on home, I should be redirected to this component and my path name will be slash. And here inside link, I'm just giving this two property and here inside this one, I'm giving this forward slash. Again, inside this component, whenever I click on this about, I should be redirected to slash about and inside component, I should be redirected to this component. And here inside two also, I have given this path. Now, once I use this home and about component, I have to import that one. So here I'll just import that import home. Import home from my home is inside components folder and inside components. I'm having this home again in the same way. I have to import about and here also I'm just going to write about. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see inside my URL I'm having, I don't have anything. So by default, it is going to be redirected inside home page. Now when I click on home page, I am inside home page and the content present inside the home component that is displayed here. Now when I click on about page, you can see I am redirected to slash about page, but the content inside about page is not visible. So for that, to get exact value, now this switch is going to match only the first value. Now here I'm having this slash. So it is going to match with home component and that output will be printed. Again, if I go to slash about, it is going to match only this slash and it is going to print whatever I'm having inside home component. So to get exact output, we have to use here exact keyword. Now this is going to specify whenever this, I'm having this exactly this one, only then show this home component. I'll copy this and here also I'm just going to paste that one. And here I'm telling whenever exactly I'm having this one, then show me this. I'll come here. Now you can see inside my URL I'm having slash about and my home about page is printed here. Again, if I come to home, you can see home page is printed. Again, when I come to about, about page is printed. Okay, this is how we are going to work. And here if I just inspect this one, and inside this DOM, if I just show you the output, inside this body, we have this div. Inside this div, I'm having this div. And inside this UL, I'm having this anchor tag. You can see, you can see anchor tag is present inside this UL. But inside a React, we have used link. But here inside a DOM, anchor tag is present. So we are getting this underline. So to avoid that one, inside this app.css, you can just write here anchor tag and you can just write here text decoration to be none. Okay, that underlines will go. I'll save this. And now you can see I'm having this home and here I'm having this about. Now in our next tutorial, we are going to make simple navbar and we are going to understand even more properties like navlink. We are going to understand about active class name. We are going to see more about this one. Okay, this is how routing will help in React. Okay, you just have to wrap this one. Our entire component, you have to wrap inside this browser router. Okay, if you don't want to wrap this browser router here, you can just wrap this entire app component here. Okay, you can just write that one here. Okay, that is also giving you the same output and inside this I'm just creating an ordered list. Okay, and in our next tutorial, we are going to create separate navbar and we are going to link this entire thing there. 
and here this routing I have to do and I have to wrap this routing inside one switch. Now once we use this switch root and link we have to import all these three things from react router DOM and inside route we will be having this path property the path we have to give and inside this link we have this two property okay this we are just giving the same path and inside this I am just passing here home about and I'm just specifying the components whenever I redirect it to this slash I should be redirected to home component and whenever I redirect to slash about I should be redirected to about component and inside home.js and, and inside about.js I have just written some content now that will be displayed whenever I click on about I'll be getting about whenever I click on home I will be getting home okay you can give some more stylings here suppose if I just give here about 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 okay you can create cards you can create footer you can create anything now I'll just come to about you can see this many times only inside about page that will be printed and inside home page I'm having this home page and my website is not getting loaded here okay I'm getting the output okay that's all for today's tutorial next tutorial we are going to make simple navbar and we are going to understand this in more advanced way thank you so much for listening have a great day